What are the conditions or the prerequisites of salah? Who knows Kamila. them? Who knows them all of them? Mashallah. So firstly, al-Islam, meaning if a non-Muslim prayed salah, his salah is invalid. The second condition is al-aql, that that person has to have sanity. And therefore, if a, a mentally disabled person prayed salah, then the prayer is invalid. If a person prayed and he was intoxicated, what's the ruling of his salah? Um, if a person prayed and he was intoxicated, his salah is invalid. Which one is better, the one who is insane or the one who is intoxicated? The insane person or the one who is mentally disabled is better than the one who is intoxicated. Why? Because he is ill. And then the third condition of salah is a tamiz. And a tamiz is, is mental maturity by which the child can differentiate between matters. Is the salah of a young child valid? So if the child has enough mental maturity that he can dis dis distinguish between matters, then the prayer is valid. And then the fourth condition is the intention. And the intention, its place is in the heart and to verbalize it is a bid'ah. And also from the conditions of salah is removing yourself from the state of major or minor impurity. And the next condition is the removal of physical impurities from your body and your clothing and the area in, upon which you are praying. The next condition is for the time for that salah to have entered and to cover the aura, the private part. And that for a person to face the direction of the Qibla Mecca. Um, if a person mentions that they are nine, then this shows that he has understood them or he has understood them.